So guys, in this video, we are gonna be taking a look at my other setup. This is the setup that I use to shoot a lot of B-roll and basically just a lot of product shots, just because I typically try my best to keep this part of the room as clean as possible. Same with the cables underneath as well. Uh, kinda, but basically this is like my setup that I like to take apart and put back together but keep it neat at the same time because I'm always testing products like mice, keyboards, monitors. Uh, I do switch out my PC on this side of the room a little bit more often, but hopefully I'm done for now because I think I've got a pretty solid system over here. And uh, yeah, pretty much I just like to make this my Zen area where if I am not testing products, I'm using exactly what I want to use. And that's what we're gonna go over in this video today. Let's go ahead and start off with the desk because obviously the desk is gonna house all of these very important products to me. And this desk is actually from our video sponsor, FlexiSpot. Flexi Spot is sponsoring this video showing off their E7 Pro Plus standing desk. I have had this desk for the majority of this year and it has been a pretty great desk to use. It is a motorized desk frame and that's why I have like some of the cables dangling a little bit but I did try my best to manage them as best as I could. But I have to leave these little power strip cables free because when I put this desk into the standing mode with this nice little keypad, obviously the desk is going to raise and I need cable slack so that it safely raises above the ground as you can see it goes pretty tall i am about 5 11 so i do need it up quite a bit and you can actually set up to four different presets on the e7 pro plus keypad and it's also got this nice little usb port here for fast charging and if you press and hold the little m you can actually lock this so that you cannot accidentally or somebody else accidentally bump your desk and change the height of your desk if i'm looking at a specific product and the cable is not long enough occasionally i will use this lock function to make sure that i don't accidentally mess up the product by having the power cable get yanked out of the back outside of that the e7 pro plus just has a lot of really nice options for different desktops this is the marble desktop i do have it in the 30 by 80 inch configuration so it is a pretty huge desk so i have plenty of space for my gaming PC setup right here. And then I also have even more space to shoot footage for products right here. And occasionally if I need more space, I just go like this to my monitor, I move it around and then I can move my soundbar out of the way. And then I have even more space on my desk to get my job done. These desks are pretty reasonably priced as well. I'll show you guys some of the pricing and options that FlexiSpot has on their website. You can get a huge desk, you can get a pretty small and compact desk. You can get whatever you need to fill your space and get the most out of your workstation. Huge thanks to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video and back to the rest of the setup. But quite honestly, guys, I do love this desk too. They end up sending me the legs and I actually purchased this tabletop myself. So I do indeed love working with FlexiSpot. So at this setup, I'm gonna find the things that I typically prefer to use for my preferred reliable and luxury gaming experience. So speaking of luxury, this Alienware OLED monitor, it is a glossy panel as well. This is a 34 inch 1440p 175 hertz G-Sync panel that is OLED and it is great for watching movies on, playing games, filling up that ultra wide screen. Honestly, this has been probably my favorite tech purchase of all of 2022. QD OLED is such a great technology and yeah, there are some pretty minor gripes that some people do have with these panels, but personally, I sit pretty far back away from my monitor. So like some of the fringing issues really don't bother me at all. And quite frankly, when I'm sitting this far back from the panel, I never notice it at all. So I can say great job between Alienware and Samsung picking this panel absolutely fantastic and fast gaming performance from something like this and it's also great for content creation and multimedia workloads even though i typically do not edit over on this station because that's why i have this uh, messy station i got going on here but you guys can look at this station in my previous video that i will have linked in the description below now for my sound we have a sonos ray soundbar this is a pretty good option for a pc speaker it does use optical so depending on your motherboard you may have to either Either plug it into the optical port built in or you may have to buy a usb adapter to have an optical jack to plug this into but quite honestly guys this is such a great sound bar for gaming media listening honestly content creation really anything that you would need pc speakers for it is 300 i do love the sleek look and the compact size without having to have you know a speaker over here speaker over there and a bunch of wires and cables to manage it just looks so much cleaner 
way easier to cable manage and i definitely appreciate that sonos has finally come out with an affordable speaker that does indeed work for pc gaming almost forgot to mention that i did also get a sonos sub mini and the nice part about the sub mini is that it does not vibrate the casing which is why i do have this govi light right on top of the sub mini because again when i have the bass booming it's not going to shake the light and disturb anyone and the sub mini also delivers very tight and powerful bass that is not overwhelming especially if you are using this in like a very small room or an apartment i would highly recommend checking one of these out as opposed to the full size sub now for my keyboard this is the wooding 60 he this is a 60 percent analog keyboard that i quite frankly think is the single best gaming keyboard that came out this entire year. Like guys, seriously, this thing is so fast that it's really good to have a straight USB cable. You probably don't wanna have a coil cable because you may experience some issues with using coil cables because it's sending so much data back and forth from your PC to the keyboard to make sure that you get the absolute fastest gaming performance out of this thing. And it definitely delivers. I don't really know if there's gonna be another keyboard that comes very soon that's also going to be fairly available to order that is going to give you this level of performance that Wooting and Gateron together offer you with such a nice form factor 60 percent and there's no software it's all managed through their Wootility online so you could just save a browser shortcut to go to the Wootility configure your keyboard and you don't have to worry about anything running in the background on your computer to configure your board I definitely do think that more devices should be able to have similar functionality just think of like other companies had something where you just had a browser tab open configure your device close it and you don't have to worry about anything running in the background of your computer for my gaming mouse this is the new Nintendo just so sore wireless and basically it feels very similar to like a Lamzu Atlantis or an Endgame Gear XM1 wireless but it weighs in at 46 grams has really nice skates especially if you use hybrid pads or control pads and honestly guys I really don't have any complaints it's got USB type C functionality the battery life is really long the clicks are very nice as well like guys just 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 listen to this like It just feels and looks so good. The scroll wheel is perfect. The side buttons are great. One of the best mice under $100 that you can get. For my mouse pad of choice, this is the Odin Infinity V2, and this is also the Alex Zoto Special Edition. I don't know if these are still available or not, but this has been one of my favorite designs on any mouse pad that I've had over the past few years. And I used to use the zero gravity version, this one that I still have, but with these mice getting so super light, I just feel like the zero gravity was just a little bit too fast for what I needed. It still gives you a lot of that speed, but a little bit more control from the hybrid surface and it's also super easy to clean. So if you get anything on it, it's not like cloth or fabric where it's basically baked in. Literally just get a microfiber cloth, you wipe it off and it's super easy to keep clean and keep it looking fresh and new. I do have a little HyperX solo cast over there just to have something that is pretty easily accessible when I'm testing products and headphones that may or may not have a good enough microphone to use for game chat. Sometimes if I'm testing IEMs, then they don't have built-in microphones, so I have to have another solution available and ready to go. So that's where the HyperX solo cast comes in hand. Recently, I have been testing out the SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless, and that is why you guys probably noticed the base station over here that is plugged in and I do like it I did in fact just order some wiki cushions for it to try those out but I think that I honestly prefer the Arctis 7x this one has an MSRP of about $179 and it is pretty close in performance to the Arctis Nova Pro wireless super long name that's like nearly uh, $350 plus tax which is gonna be you know almost $400 depending on where you live that is just really expensive for a gaming headset and the features that you get with the 7x as well as the comfort that's very similar and plus or minus some of those extra things that they have added to the Nova Pro wireless that are a little controversial I definitely think that these are the headsets to go with and to go buy for that low low price of $179 I do have this little Audio-Technica headphone hanger as well 
have had this for the past few months and it hasn't given me any issues and i do love that it's very easily able to be taken off just by this little mount that you screw into the bottom of your desk just for some ambient lighting to light the room at night this is the govi lyra pro uh, obviously you can change the colors and everything within the govi app and it works really really well I have a lot of other products from govi in my room honestly the two companies that i use the most for lighting solutions are govi and elgato the light strip behind my desk is the elgato light strip specifically because it does not strobe on camera Camera, where the Govi light strips typically do strobe on camera. I have to mess with the ISO quite a bit to be able to use these light strips. Just have a little wireless phone charger here from Anchor, nothing too crazy. It works decently well. It does take a while to charge some of the newer phones, but you know, it works okay. And then for my PC, last but not least, this is the Johnsbo D30. This was the only case that I found that was pretty close in design to the Cooler Master NR200P. And it does also fit the newer RTX graphics cards, depending on the one that you get. I did manage to stuff a 4080 in here, as well as an IT motherboard with 32 gigabytes of RAM and the AMD Ryzen 5800X 3D. So this is a pretty beastly combo for gaming and testing out the new monitor releases that are coming out very soon and some of them that we do have in-house. I will have another video talking about this PC in depth more so and going over some benchmarks as well with the 4080 and the 5800X 3D. But so far so good with this PC and desk setup over here. Just again for a little bit of luxury gaming because this ultra wide is like so good this is the single best purchase i've made of technology all year absolutely love the fact that we have these ultra wide oleds coming out right now and even oled 16 by 9 monitors have one of those on the way coming as well i did also put some extra storage under my desk as well just to have some things just a little bit more accessible and otherwise i mean that's just a pc that i'm shipping out pretty soon some giveaways and then a little box for just some quick throwaway storage but nothing really too important in there and that's it guys thank you for watching if you are curious about anything in this video that i mentioned i will have links in the description below also we'll have a link to our sponsor flexi spot in the description as well so be sure to check them out it does also help support the channel and thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video